Uh, I was um, driving in the car. I was in Florida doing a job. And um, uh, I heard on NPR an interview with William Shatner about his new CD, Has Been. And they played snippets of it. They played Common People and I think a couple of other little bits of pieces. And he was talking about how it was autobiographical and he had gotten together with Ben Folds. Ben is the one who, who really encouraged him to continue on this autobiographical tone. He started writing some, some things and, uh, and Ben really encouraged him to keep going. So Ben took his, his poetry and set it to music. And of course, Bill is the one who's speaking. Um, so it, it just sounded like, it sounded wonderful to me. And, and the little snippets I heard were so musical. So I went to uh, a Tower Records, because they were, still were around at that time, Tower Records in, in Miami. And there was a young woman at the, at the uh, register, and I asked her if she had the CD. And she said, oh my God, it's so fabulous. I just love it. And I thought, this is a very good sign, because here's a young woman who's probably in her 20s, who doesn't know anything about William Shatner, who, finds, who loves the CD. So I bought the CD and I listened to it and I kept it in the back of my mind that this was, this was going to be, this could be a really funny, wonderful ballet. And uh, I sort of shopped around, I was looking for, I did other projects and a couple of years went by and Michael Pink uh, from Milwaukee Ballet was going to revive my ballet Virgin Forest. And um, he contacted me in the fall. The premiere, the premiere would have been February. It's a ballet that I had done for them and that they had kind of put to bed for a little while and were bringing back. But it requires a full orchestra. It's a commissioned score. So they were having an orchestra strike and there was all kinds of problems. And he said, so do you have something else you'd like to do? And I said, well, as a matter of fact, I do. And that's how it, that's how it came to fruit. Uh, so I originally did the piece on Milwaukee Ballet. And once I had, uh, a company to, to do the work on. Then I worked on contacting Bill. So I found out who his agent was. I wrote a letter describing what it was that I wanted to do. And I got it to him through a friend who had the same agent or knew, knew how to, you know, so I got the letter to, to him. And uh, I expected to hear back from the agent. And I was back in New York City, I would say within a week of my mailing this letter. And the phone rang and a voice said, are you free to speak to William Shatner now? And I was said, well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I was expecting all kinds of other, you know, uh, media, but media, media men to go to go between me and Bill. So he gets on the phone. I describe to him what it, what it is that's going on. That Milwaukee Valley is interested. That we have a premiere date, the whole nine yards. And he was very excited. And he was he was very funny. He said, well, you know, I know who you are. <laughs> sort of like this, and I said, well, thank you. <laughs> you know, I appreciate that. That's very flattering. And um, we then proceeded. You know, he gave us permission. He talked to the other musicians, and we got the rights, and off we went. So the, the premiere was 2007, and they revived it in 2009, and now we're doing it here, and I'm very excited about it. And the dancers here are spectacular, and they're really, it's been wonderful to revisit and sort of fix and fiddle with things that I wasn't really, you know, completely satisfied with on the first go round and it's it's been a wonderful wonderful experience.